Hello my fellow Minecrafters, this is Simple Majority. I am doing a tutorial series on the mods that I use in my Minecraft game. I decided to start with the Buildcraft. Space Toad has been doing the, most of the tutorials for it. There are a few other tutorials and Let's Plays out there, and I decided to do my own. I am using Buildcraft 3.0 Alpha. This is not for multiplayer use, it's only for single player. It adds some new machines and some new items to the game, which I'll cover in the course of the tutorials. But like any good tutorial, you need to start from the very beginning. And to do that, we're going to start by learning about the components that make up Buildcraft. The first compo components that we use to build are the gears. There are five, ge uh, five gears, the wooden gear, the stone gear, the iron gear, the gold gear, and the diamond gear. To craft these gears, we'll take, let's start with the wooden gear. It is the base of all gears. And take four sticks and draw a diamond. Now, we can upgrade this wooden gear to a stone gear by placing the wooden gear in the center. And then draw, uh, take four cobblestones and wrap it around the diamond to make the stone gear. And, again, we can upgrade stone gear to the iron gear in the same fashion and then to the gold gear and finally to the diamond gear which is the most expensive as you can see so these gears are used in, in a good portion of the uh, uh, recipes in buildcraft <clears throat> and I will over the course sh uh, show you how to use these gears to make the various machines and uh, devices but one of the first devices we're going to make is the uh, wrench the wrench is a wonderful tool used by uh, build crafters and what it does is allows us to adjust pipes and machinery in the world and to make it you will take three iron ignots draw, drawing a pattern like this and then put a stone gear in the center to make the wrench now the wrench is uh, has no durability it's infinite so you can use it forever without any issues now the n next thing we're going to talk about are engines there are three kinds of engines in the game and I'll talk about each one in detail first the redstone engine second the steam engine and finally third the combustion engine so let's talk about the redstone engine the redstone engine is a very simple engine has no uh, re fuel requirements other than redstone when we turn that on you'll notice the engine go starts to uh, pump the engine itself is not a very powerful engine it's good for extracting items from wood tubes or fuel tanks as you can see here or even water tanks um, beyond that though it's not very good for operating any machinery and build craft uh, these other two engines are good. Now, when a wood engine is hooked to a wood pipe, or com sorry, redstone engine is hooked to a wood pipe, the uh, engine will only pull one block at a time from whatever it's connected to. For example, a treasure chest or a furnace. So, we'll talk about this engine first and how to make it. To make the engine, we're going to need two wood gears, wooden gears. We're going to need a piece of glass. We're going to need to make a piston, which I'm not going to show you how to make. Uh, we'll also need three wood planks. This is how you create a piston, or the uh, redstone engine. The second engine we have is the combustion steam engine. The steam engine does require fuel to operate, and it will run off of charcoal or coal, one of the two. This engine is actually a more powerful engine. Instead of, if it's connected to a wood pipe, instead of pulling a single block at a time, it'll pull an entire stack of blocks at once. This is great for deep mining, and you have a treasure chest way down inside your mines, you can hook a steam engine up to it, and you'll be able to resupply it with coal as you're mining. And it'll pull stacks out, so instead of waiting hours for uh, an entire treasure chest to empty out, you only have to wait minutes. To make this engine, you'll need to take two stone gears. You notice the, the design is actually the same. It's just the gears and the materials that go on top change. 
We're going to take three iron ingots, put them on top, glass in the center, and we'll put another piston here. And I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, even I get it wrong every once in a while. Oh. Yeah. It's Christmas Day and not a very much sleep. There we go. So to make this, we'll put three cobblestone on top, glass in the center, piston in the middle, and two stone gears. The final engine, which I was trying to put the iron in, is the combustion engine. It actually has a different, completely dinner, different interface than the steam engine. The, uh, as you can see here, we have two bars, one black, one blue. I've already supplied this with fuel and water. The left bar here is your uh, fuel source, and the right bar is your water source. This engine, just like a regular automobile engine, requires cooling, or else it will overheat much faster. Now the fuel sources that could be used from worst to best is lava, oil, and finally fuel. And I will show I will discuss uh, show in another tutorial how to refine fuel. Actually, the next tutorial will be about fuel production. And then finally, your cooling source. This engine is real fast. It will pull out blocks, uh, stacks of blocks, real quick. It, the best use for these engines are on refineries, uh, pumps, refineries, uh, quarries, another good one, and also advanced assembly tables, which I'm going to discuss in a much further tutorial. To manufacture this table, we'll need two iron gears, our piece of glass, our piston, and now I finally find a use for the iron, three iron across the top, and there we go. We now have a combustion engine. Now, engines do have a um, drawback. You do have to watch your engines. As you can see here, I have uh, several engines set up on basically a self-destruction sequence. As an engine heats up, uh, it will go into a critical mass as it can't produce power. As you can see, it's starting to... it's uh, flashing between green and yellow right now. So it's actually leaving the normal operations and heading into uh, the very high end of the operations. This is about when you should be watching it and shutting it down. If we continue to let this engine run, which we will, this engine will eventually explode. Now, Space Toad's really nice. You don't lose your engines. You'll have to go back through the crater and pick them up but it will explode and it does cause a huge inconvenience especially if you have massive fuel towers and you don't uh, regulate your engines when it explodes it'll destroy everything around it and any liquid you had will be gone it also kind of would suck if you let this thing blow up on a quarry and the engine happens to fall inside the, a deep quarry So we're just going to let, I was, was hoping this thing would actually be getting close to its critical mass stage by now, and it's not, we'll come back to that. So in the meantime, we're going to talk about pipes. Pipes are the, uh, what actually got me hooked on uh, Buildcraft whenever I first started playing Minecraft. And we're going to talk about these pipes and what they do, and there are new pipes that have been added since the... Uh, mod, well, since I got into the mod at least. The first pipe we're going to talk about is a wood pipe. Wood pipes can be connected to a treasure chest, furnaces, uh, the fuel tanks over there, and also you can connect them to engines uh, for and this for the advanced, or for the assembly table, which I will be talking about much, much, much later. To craft this, you will take, need a piece of glass, and you will need two wood planks. And you notice you get eight wood pipes, transport pipes, per uh, pass. You won't need very many of these. These aren't the like the big ticket item. You know, 16, 24 will do. I don't have anything in that treasure chest or else I'd power it up. Um, the second kind of pipe is the cobblestone pipe. It's this pipe here, this dark colored pipe. This pipe is a rough pipe. It's crafted with two cobblestone, 
And as you can see, it's all repetitive. Just change the outer materials. There we go, the cobblestone transport pipes. These are generic transport pipes. This is what, you will, the, what you'll be using most of. It's a rougher pipe. Um, and only it means items will travel through it a little slower, but that only applies when we talk about that gold pipe there. The other, the next pipe up is the stone pipe, which is this lighter color one. The difference between the two, like I said, this is a rougher pipe, and this one's smoother. This one's a smooth bore because you smelt it back to um, into from cobblestone back into stone. And to make that, we take our two stone and our glass. And now we have a, a stone transport pipe. Third kind of pipe is the iron pipe. The iron pipe is a, um, a one-way pipe. And what that means is, right now the way it's set up, materials coming from this pipe, when it hits here, will keep going forward. If they will not be able to go left. Materials from this pipe, when they come in, will have to go to the left. They will not be able to go right. And you can adjust this with a wrench by right-clicking on the pipe until you get a desired setting. Maybe you want uh, materials coming from this way and from this way to go up this pipe and to that treasure chest. So the decision is yours, and you can put pipes on top and on bottom, but it does make it harder to actually adjust this when you do that if you have all six uh, sides covered. The next kind of pipe... Uh, to make that pipe, once again, it says it's all repetitive, just the outer materials change. Two iron ingots plus a piece of glass, you get eight transport tubes. The next kind of pipe is the gold pipe. The gold pipe is a booster pipe. To make that, we're going to take a two iron or two gold plus our glass tube, our glass, and we get eight gold transport pipes. This has this pipe actually needs redstone to operate. It does not require a, uh, an engine, just redstone. And as you can see right now, it's this color. If we turn it on, you notice now it gets kind of a texture. This tells you that this pipe is now powered. Now, as I said before, the difference between these pipes, this one's rougher and this one's smoother, and the items will travel slower. To show the demonstrate this, I set up this demonstration. On top, we have a cobblestone tube. And on the bottom, we have a stone tube. And right past the wood pipe, we have uh, two gold pipes, one on each side. So these are come, items are coming out equally. So we'll activate this, and you'll see both items are coming out exactly the same time. Both items hit the transport of uh, the gold tube at the same time. The difference is distance. I marked these with uh, wool. As you can see, the uh, cobblestone slows down right about here and you see the the bottom pipe it's still going high rate of speed we go down further you'll notice this is about where the speed boost ends for the stone tube so this is a much more effective the stone tubes are much more effective for speed transporting items around where your cobblestone is only really be useful for short distance items I'll shut that off and before we go to the next pipe, let's see if how our engine's doing. Eh, it's not red yet. So, the la next kind of pipe we're going to talk about is the diamond pipe. The diamond pipe is a filtering pipe. If we right-click on it, we're going to get a filter screen. And it has six colors, six different inputs. You can take an item, let's say iron. I want iron to go in the red path. So, and we'll put cobblestone on the blue path. So the way this will work is as materials, let's say, are coming from this way and it hits this junction, it's, this pipe is going to look for cobblestone and iron and it's going to send them to the proper treasure chests. Anything else that's not in that will continue straight on. To make the diamond pipe, this is one of those, and it's, it's fairly expensive, it's not very expensive I should say, and you don't need a lot of these because you, as, like the other pipes, you get eight of them. Finally, the last kind of pipe we get is the obsidian pipe. The obsidian pipe. To craft that, we'll take our. We'll talk about how to craft it first. We'll take our two obsidian. Our piece of glass. We get our eight obsidian tubes. This um, pipe is actually a vacuum pipe. We'll put an engine on this. 
and a liver. Now this pipe, the way it works, if I turn this on, with a wood engine, it depends on the engine you put in. Let's say I take the wood engine, or the redstone engine, I put a... drop a block right in front of the pipe, you notice nothing's happening. In order to get it to work, you have to throw it actually at the pipe itself. It has to land in that block with a redstone engine. If I change this and go to uh, combustion or steam engine here, the distance will actually open up even further. So I could take that same pipe piece and drop it right here and nothing. Maybe this is this could possibly actually be bugged. Yeah, this is bugged. Unfortunately, it's not working as intended because the the um, uh, steam engine you're supposed to be able to should be able to throw a block out here, and the engine will pick or the pipe will pick it up. Let's see if this trend continues with the combustion engine. Drop a combustion engine in. We'll put a little bit of oil in that thing. Put a little fuel, one fuel bucket of fuel in. And you can see the engine does run without water. The problem is it will overheat really fast without water. So we'll put a bucket of water in there as well. There we go. Now we'll try to throw some blocks out and see if the engine picks it up. And as we can see, it is not. So unfortunately, obsidian pipes are broken because I've seen the videos of uh, people, space toad, especially throwing a block this far out, and the pipe picks it up. Um, so, space toad, if you happen to see this video, you know you might want to take a look at that in the 3.0.4 alpha. That's the version I have. We'll give one more check to see if our engines are about to explode over here, and they're not. Hmm, that's highly depressing. So, there is a video, I'll put the link to it in mine, where he shows the engines actually exploding. Uh, the next tutorial, I'm, I'm going to cover fuel production, how to find fuel sources, and how to set up your very first refinery. Because producing fuel is actually the best way to power your combustion engines and uh, run the various machines that Buildcraft has to offer. So stay tuned for the next tutorial. I promise it'll be much uh, much more smoother than this one. This is Simple Majority, signing off.